Hey guys, so this video is going to be a very much requested, updated makeup collection video. I have filmed a few of these in the past, but not very recently at all, and I've had so many requests recently to show you my updated makeup collection, how I store my makeup, and the bits and bobs that are in there, what I use, what I love, things like that. I must say, I did have a giant clear out right before Christmas and reorganisation and just really kind of organise everything, and then I've had a couple of months to kind of live with it and it get a bit messy again, so it's not perfect, this is just how I store my makeup. I'm going to talk you through it, and before I start, if you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button, it will be down here. I'm uploading new videos every Friday and Sunday, so if you want to be notified when new content is up on this channel, then go and subscribe. So let's get into the makeup tour. So this is where I store the majority of my makeup. This is an Ikea Alex drawer, and you might notice a lot of beauty YouTubers and bloggers have these drawers because they're really affordable, but they're also one of the best ways to store makeup because they've got, I think there's nine shallow drawers, so it's a really good way to be able to organise everything. And as you may be able to tell, I have actually customised mine. I have a tutorial on how I did this, um, which you guys can check out if you want to. I'll link it below, but mine are this kind of really beautiful duck egg blue striped, and they have the floral... Um, um, knobs on them as well. Normally these are just all white and they don't have any knobs at all. So on top of here I keep all of my makeup and fashion books. I have quite a few. I'm not going to talk you all the way through them but I do want to show you this one which is an Italian version of my book on the end there. They changed the name from the Glam Guide to Fashion Forever because apparently in Italian that's a better name but if you guys are Italian and you want to check it out that kind of excited me. My book's actually now available in Italy and Poland. How cool is that? Anyway, so I also have um, a diptyque candle burning on top of here. And then in the first drawer, you guys might remember from my previous makeup collection, I have these labels on here to say what is in the drawers. And these are a little bit tatty now, but I still do keep them kind of vaguely in the order that the labels are still there. So I didn't take them off, I just think it's kind of useful to know where everything is. And then in the first drawer, this is where I keep all of my eyeliners, which I keep in here, and all of my mascaras, which I keep in here. And I do have these clear plastic Muji containers, which were from old storage at my old house. Um, I just find them a really good way of dividing up the drawers. Um, if anyone knows of any good drawer dividers you use, I I've seen people use like different baskets and things for dividing up these drawers, but these work fine and they're the they're a great height actually, they just fit, so um, yeah, anyway. So I keep all of my liquid liners and my pencil liners in here. As you can see, I have quite a few, um, probably more than I need, but being a beauty blogger, I'm constantly like testing, trying and testing things. So that's where I keep all of my liquid pencil and I've got a couple of gel eyeliners down the side as well. And I'm not gonna talk you through all of them, but I've got Rimmel Scandalized liquid liner. I've got the Dolly Wink liquid liner, the Kat Von D liquid liner, which is one of my favorites. Loads and loads of stuff in there. And then I also have mascaras on this side. And this seems like a crazy amount of mascaras to have, but to be honest, some of these are actually finished and I keep them for video use. So if I'm talking about like my top 10 mascaras or something like that, which was a video that I did recently, um, I will use like older mascaras that I'm not still using, but I love. So I don't have to have like that many mascaras on the go at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I have a Max Factor, a couple of Max Factor ones. There's an Elizabeth Arden one, the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. There's a Tom Ford one. There's the Lancome Hypno Star, which is my favorite Lancome one. More Max Factor, more Max Factor. There's a lot of Max Factor mascaras in there. They're so good. Um, and then I also have an unopened version of my YSL baby doll. This was a gift and I'm saving it for a special occasion when I run out of my current baby doll. And then in the front here I keep my brow products. So I have my brow gels on this side. There's a couple of the Rimmel Brow This Way ones. There's the Isla one which I think is probably my favourite. And then there's the Benefit Gimme Brow, the Maybelline Brow Drama. And then I also have a couple of brow powders, the Anastasia one and the Urban Decay one, the Illamasqua um, brow gel, like tinted brow gel, and then I have the Tom Ford, the um, MAC and the Sukyu, this is actually a liquid pencil for your eyes, it's really cool for your eyebrows, um, I have those, and then I also have my Duo Lash Glue, which I use every now and again for lashes, but generally I use um, the glue that comes with them, but I have that anyway. So that is the first drawer. In the second drawer is where I keep my eyeshadows. So as you guys can see, if that is, this is like reflecting hardcore. This is a Stila palette, um, which is the 
um, Eyes of the Window Mind Palette, which is so beautiful. It has loads of mattes, but I'm going to remove it because it's flashing in your face. So I keep all of my eyeshadow palettes here, and then I keep individual shadows at the back. A couple of palettes aren't actually here because I'm packed up ready for my book shoot tomorrow. We have a photo shoot for my book, which I'm really excited about. But I do have um, some Urban Decay palettes, um, one, two, and three, and the second one, I'm going to show you a close-up of this because this is why it's still in the pack and I've never used it. Um, it's a really special palette that I actually got when I did my meetup with Urban Decay um, last summer. And then I have, there's a Max Factor one in here, which is a really beautiful nude colour. There's also the Collection Nude one, which I use all the time. I absolutely love that. And then I also have my NARS God Created the Woman palette, which is covered in eyeshadow. I don't quite know how that happened. Um, but yeah, that's this one. And I use that all the time when I'm travelling. I absolutely love it. There's a Rosie Huntington Whiteley one for... Um, M&S, which I haven't really got around to trying yet. I need to, I've tried it once, but I need to like give it a good road test. Then I have the Gwen Stefani um, Urban Decay palette, which is gorgeous. I'm sure you guys have seen this already, but if you haven't, this is what it looks like. Gorgeous. And then underneath that, I have my MAC Pro palette, which again is covered in eyeshadow because I use it loads, but um, they are my bigger palettes. I have a couple of Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quads. This one is the Sophisticate, which is the kind of mid-tone matte brown one, which I love. I use that loads. And then I also have Fallen Angel. This is a beautiful kind of shimmery, smoky palette. I have a Givenchy one. I have my Marc Jacobs Lolita palette, which needs throwing away because it's broken and years old, but I just love it. I used it on my wedding day and I just don't want to throw it away because it's gorgeous. Look at it. It's amazing. It's probably one of my favourite palettes ever. And then I have a couple of smaller ones, a Smashbox and Sephora. And then in the back, I have this tray, which I really like keeping these trays in the back because I can actually just pull them out instead of having loose products back there. Um, I keep all of my cream eyeshadows and most of these, as you will be able to see, are eyeshadow sticks. So there's a lot of Laura Mercier ones. They're my favourites. I've got one by Terry Ombre Black Star, which are super expensive, but it's gorgeous. I've got a Chanel one, um, a Burberry one. I've got kind of a mixture there. There's a Makeup Forever one, a Mac one these generally are like quite nudey like champagne colors i think this is groundwork the mac one um i used to have a lot of these mac ones but they've all kind of dried up now so i've only got one left and then i have a tom ford one which is from their spring collection called opal i also keep it's getting a bit messy now i also keep my um eyeshadow primers in here so i've got the urban decay the l'oreal magic decrease and the lorac one in there as well and then i keep my single powder shadows in here as well um which i've got a couple of mac ones i usually um depot my mac ones and put them into a palette i've got an armani one 17 these ones are amazing these 17 ones and then i have a l'oreal infallible one another l'oreal one urban decay solstice which is the most beautiful color for putting over the top of things like seriously it's gorgeous the next drawer is lipsticks and this is a drawer that probably makes me the happiest um i don't tend to have like a lot of lipsticks from one brand like i see a lot of people who do this and have like a million mac lipsticks but they're probably i have the most like chanel and mac but then towards the back it gets very mixed and i kind of just throw all the odd lipsticks in the back there um so i have a few chanel ones uh, my favorite is the rouge coco shine in boy i have four charlotte tilbury's um, my MAC lipsticks are here. Off the top of my head as well, there's Cream Cup, there's Fanfare, there's, um, I think this is the Ariana Viva Glam one, just a selection. And then I have, uh, three Marc Jacobs ones and a mini one, some Tom Ford, some YSL, some Erin. Um, then I have a couple of Elizabeth Arden, Urban Decay, Clinique, NARS, three Dior ones. And then I keep my drugstore lipsticks towards the back. So I have my Revlon Ultra HD, which I love, and my Rimmel, the only one. I have a couple of the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay ones. There's a Topshop one in the back there. There's an um, Soap and Glory one. There's, I think this is a Maybelline, no, Rimmel. Um, there's an Armani one. These are just kind of individuals as well. So I have a Burberry one and a couple of the NARS um, lip pencils back there and some of the Bite dual-ended lipsticks and a full-size Bite lipstick as well. And then in the next drawer down, I keep lip glosses and lip balms. And as you may be able to tell, I have a slight obsession with lip balms and tinted lip balms because that's what I keep in here. So I have, more than anything else, I actually have the Clarins Instant Light lip balms, which are these ones. They are my favourites. There's a Rodal lip balm. There's a Maybelline, is this Maybelline or L'Oreal? It's L'Oreal. Um, there is a Clarins one, a By Terry one, a Burberry one, um, Sephora own brand like tinted lip oil, and also this thing, which is like a Kiss Me tinted lip balm. It tastes like Cherry Coke, it's amazing. And then I have all my lip glosses lined up. Again, I've kind of done it by brand, but there's only like a few brands that I have more than one, then there's like a load of messy ones at the back. So I have my L'Oreal, 
ones that I love, some bite lip glosses, my YSL glossy stain, um, I've got a couple more of these but I'm not sure where they are, they're probably in my handbags, <laughs> I love them, um, and then I have some of the new Revlon matte liquid lipsticks which are gorgeous, the Ciate matte liquid lipsticks which are also gorgeous, the Revlon, um, what are these even called, they're like the glossy stain equivalents, moisture stain, colour stain moisture stain, I've got three of those and they're really lovely, they're really scratched though, they look rubbish on camera, then I've got the Maybelline ones, I've got some Topshop lip stains, which are amazing, more L'Oreal, and then everything at the back is just all kind of mixed together like that. So they're kind of organised, it's like organised chaos, I like to call it. The next one down really is disorganised chaos. This is my blush and bronzer drawer. So as you can see, I've got the um, Gwen Stefani um, K palette, which is gorgeous. But then I also have all of the individuals as well. So I'm going to remove the hourglass because it's really shining at you guys. Um, but I have the Kat Von D shade light, I've got the Rhode Isle ones, one of these is a blush, one of these is a bronzer, Soap and Glory, L'Oreal, Milani, Tarte, this one is a By Terry one that is gorgeous but ridiculously expensive, I got given that, um, and then I have a um, Charlotte Tilbury one which is Sex on Fire, gorgeous, I have the Tom Ford Cream Contour Duo which is amazing lovely i have quite a lot of hourglass ones so these that this one individual one is a blush so i've got the blush the bronzer and then i've also got the palettes as well so i've got the powder palette the blush palette and the six palette i'm kind of crazy about hourglass palettes and then i also have the two faced heart shaped ones in the back which are amazing and some of the benefit box powders which i don't use very often but i love them i used to use these so much when i was younger and i just really love them they're really great and then what else do i have l'oreal giant bronzer and the collection kind of um blush quad estee lauder one which is customized with stickers next one down are you ready for this guys this is foundations i've got a problem so <laughs> I've got quite a lot of foundations, and the first thing you might notice in here is the amount of Chanel foundations I have. Um, so th this is actually for a reason. I do quite a few kind of friends and families makeup for their wedding. As you guys know, I'm kind of, makeup is my thing, so I get asked quite a lot to do um, wedding makeup for my friends. Not professionally, like, at all, but just when my friends get married. So I have the um, Vitalumia Aqua in lots of different colours that aren't my colours. So I actually bought these... Um, for a wedding and then I tend to kind of like bring them out when I use them for different weddings So that's why I've got so many of those. I also have the matte version as well And then the new Chanel foundation, which is the healthy glow one really really lovely and the Vi original Vita Lumiere. I've got the YSL um, Touche Claire foundation Shiseido foundations, which I love there's one there and then this little blue one is a waterproof one that I use in the summer It's amazing L'Oreal Rimmel more L'Oreal got the new um, Laura Mercier candlelight one which is really lovely, the Marc Jacobs gel foundation which is really nice, Illamasqua skin base and then I've got the, um, this is actually nearly empty, it's the Hourglass Illusion and then I tend to keep like tinted moisturisers down here so I've got a couple of Estee Lauder ones and the It Cosmetics um, BB and CC creams and then here I keep my powders. So I've got my YSL powder, there's a Max Factor one, a Chanel one, the L'Oreal True Match. I think this is like the Genius it's called, which is really good because it's like a really good on the go product. It's kind of like concealer, powder and primer all mixed together. Um, and then in the back here I have more of these um, drawers and in here I keep primers. So I've got my Benefit Professional, there's a Charlotte Tilbury one, there's the Illamasqua one in here, there's the Laura Mercier Radium one and the Laura Mercier Original, which I think I've got the smaller size of. Um, a Rimmel one and a Clarins one. And then the second one along, I keep concealers. If you guys can see in here, I've got um, the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. There's a Benefit one. Um, this one is um, an Estee Lauder one. I've got the It Cosmetics Under Eye Concealer, the Makeup Forever palette, and a few others underneath, underneath those. And then in the next one along here, I keep highlighters. So I have some of my favourites in here. The Benefit What's Up is amazing. I've got the Becca. I believe my one is in Moonstone. And then I have the Rhode Isle Powder Highlighter, some MAC ones. I've got a Dior one. I've got the um, Balm Cindy Luminizer. The drawer below this, I actually keep my own makeup. So I keep this separately just because I want to know that I have it on hand and ready to go um, when I need it. In this pot, I actually keep new versions of stuff that I've got. 
So um, there's like a new eyeshadow palette and some new lip glosses. But to be honest, like I don't know why I have so many of the quads. I have a lot of the quads on the go. Um, I also keep a couple of the makeup bags in here as well. And then under here I keep one entire set. There's also some mirrors. Um, and then one entire set of all of the lip glosses in all the different colours. So um, yeah, so I have them like, I know where they are in there. They're at hand at all times. So yeah, that is it. Oh, actually, there's one more drawer. The bottom drawer is empty, but this drawer is also where I keep all of my eyelashes. This is quite weird, because um, as you can see, this drawer is full of my face. As you may be able to tell from the storage organization of this drawer, I use up a lot more of the green Fleur Loves ones than I do any of the others because they are the ones that I also use a lot of these which are simply Fleur so there's not so many of those but um, I have the individuals I have a lot of the Fleur and Fabulous ones which are my more kind of evening ones so I have my eyelash stash in this drawer so I will never ever run out and then the bottom drawer is empty and that is it for my makeup collection I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any storage tips or tricks for me let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you again very soon Bye guys!